Firstly, I'd like to start by thanking the coaches, um, Mr. Joyce and Sam, who is the GAP student, very much for taking us through the season, and also Mr. Gavin and Mr. Smith, who took us the seconds and the first together um, throughout the season, and they were our main coaches. Um, I'd also like to say a few things about what happened this season. We played 12 matches, of which we won eight. Um, unfortunately, we did lose four, but uh, we were missing quite a few players for the first uh, those few times. Um, we also we also uh, played quite quite well through the season. Mr. Joyce uh, took us forward and <laughs> showed us some modern technique. <laughs> memories for the second of this season was him sending Chris Powell back out <laughs> for doing a crossfield kick in training, which was too modern for him, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd also like to thank uh, Mike Ram because he was um, captain for the seconds while I wasn't there. Was. <laughs> Very good job. Um, that's about it. <laughs> it's interesting they should mention Mr. Joyce's modern approach to the game. We were talking a little earlier, unless the title was in 1880, we we're all convinced that David plays the first of his 500 and odd games for the rest of that day. And indeed, I remember as a little boy sitting on my father's shoulders watching Mr. Joyce play, so that's how long ago he was playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, th I think all the boys, whichever team they've been, are a great debt of thanks to Mr. Joyce. We were very, very fortunate um, about connections with local top sportsmen and women, and Mr. Joyce is ever ready to come in and help on the rugby field or on the cricket field. And um, we should mention as well, it's unprecedented as far as I'm aware in Oakham School history. We had a young man from South Africa who Mr. Gelder Bloom thought was good enough to actually work with our senior players. And I think you all enjoyed working with him, as indeed I'm sure you enjoyed working with Mr. Joyce. So I'll, um, if I can get the finger working, I will email Sam and tell him how much you enjoyed his time here and I'll send any more thanks to him. Right, we'll move very swiftly on now to the captain. Um, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, more importantly, I think, thank you for preparing for the whole season. When I talk to some of the senior players, I ask them uh, what is probably the most important thing for them when they run out onto that pitch. And almost all of them always say having a crowd is the best thing there. Seeing all the fans, all the, all the students, and more importantly the parents. Even Rob James' dad shouting from the sideline, didn't know <laughs> at the ref and everything. But um, having you there does make a massive difference. Um, That's um, parents always ask me, um, how's the season going? Um, have we won, have we lost? And I always, um, I always tell them, yeah, we lost, but I don't think that's the main thing. <laughs> Winning or losing isn't what it all comes down to. Mr. Smith and Gelbham always tell us it's the performance, and uh, most of that to tell you the get best game to be played, we lost. Um, Warwick, John Cleveland, we all put in mass, mass performances. Um, there were other fairy tale stories against Bedford and rugby, but sometimes it's, you're not always the winner. Um, when I think back, the thing that stands out the most wasn't the flowing, running rugby. It was the hard graft that the players put in. If you think back, the defence is what won us those matches. Um, there wasn't really anything flash, to be honest. It was the hard graft. People, the Lamberts, the Keels, working hard on and off the pitch, to be honest. The uh, commitment was fantastic this year. The coaches always told me, what have you done? To players have turned around from a, from a loss and come back stronger. I never said anything. I didn't have to do much this year. There was always leaders around. Even some of the younger players, the sixth form, Mr. Hale, George Kerr, Abdul, they all stood up, stepped up to the mark when it had to be done. Um, to be honest, I don't think 
anyone here can deny, well, especially the players, that their time at Oakham, being from lower one to seven form, or sixth form as it is for some of the youngsters, has ever been negative. Uh, the memories they'll live on, they'll remember for the rest of their lives, will come from those matches where they had to front up, even if they lost, they, they had to front up and they stood together. And that, I reckon, is what brought this year together, and that's what makes this year so special. People stood together, no matter, no matter what the score was, and I reckon they all agree that that was largely down to Mr Smith. His, his inspiring talks before the match, memorable, absolutely fantastic. And Mr Goldblum being as hard as he always is in training, making us train no end, making us run no end. But they all agree that was for the best, and that, that is what basically pulled us together. And uh, I'd like to say thanks to the guys, they're fantastic this year. And uh, I hope to see you all in the future, carrying on what you're doing at the moment. To put some, some real talent here, some real talent I, c I reckon could go a long way if they just keep doing what they're doing. And uh, thanks, thanks for everything. He's at times been behind a pack that's been under a lot of pressure. At times he's been in front of a back line that's been under a lot of pressure. He doesn't know the meaning of not giving his all. He doesn't know the meaning of not helping others. He's been quietly authoritative in everything he's tried to do. Not just for the first team, but what he's tried to do for the whole rugby club. And now is the tradition <coughs> Oakham School, first 15 captains receive the silver salver, and if Darren would like to come forward and receive it. Mr. Butch is great photography. We've spoken about the great team spirit, the great squad spirit, and if ever the saying was true, picture paints a thousand words, then look around our photographs. Look around what our players do. Look at the faces of these boys. Look what it means to them. And what we've managed to do is to capture for our captain a few photographs in a frame that I hope he'll treasure as much as I hope you all treasure your memories here. <coughs> that DVD, I'm sure, will be well worn by the time you get them. And it's about every tomorrow. And what I hope, what Mr. Gelderbloom hopes, what Oakham School hopes for you all is keep playing, boys. Keep playing. We'd all love to be the great Martin Johnsons, Mr. Joyce's. <laughs> even, even Austin Healy. No, uh, maybe not. <laughs> but keep playing. Because the biggest challenge you're going to meet out there is after school, there's so many demands on your time. Other sports, girls. Girls. <laughs> or maybe boys. Girls. <laughs> Keep playing. Keep playing. It is without any shadow of doubt the greatest game in the world. Your chest is full of memories. Your open school chest. You'll now need to find another chest for the rest of your life. And what are you going to fill that with? And if rugby's a part of it, I guarantee you'll have the time of your life. Before I pass this on to Darrell, in closing, I'd like to say a big thank you to the parents, a big thank you to the coaches. Have a safe journey home, and um, we'll maybe see some of you again. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Please uh, stand up and sing it after birthday. <laughs> 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 